what to do with tofu is the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Judy Bunting. This is another one of our live health tip videos helping you lose weight and feel fantastic. Now, you can see here, we're in the kitchen, guys. You're going to be joining us for a little make-along. Now, this is tofu. What do you do with tofu? For those of you who don't know, I am doing Veganuary this month with who for my daughter, who's a vegan. Um, in Aldi, you may have seen, I'm new, don't we love that sticker? Uh, and that is the organic super firm tofu but what do you do with it i've never cooked with this before never my daughter has sent me a recipe what to do and we're making a katsu curry um so what i'm going to do is just show you a little bit of kind of how vegans do it and how slim brother vegans do it because that's the important bit guys vegan food is not that healthy because it contains a lot of processed stuff also contains a lot of flour and wheats and that doesn't help with weight loss. So what I'm going to do is show you the conventional vegan way and show you my way. Okay, so this is where we have our super firm tofu. Now the conventional way would be to use breadcrumbs. So here I've got the Bosch kit. Um, this is basically a batter, just plant milk and flour. And then we've got uh, panko breadcrumbs and spices so that is going to taste amazing because it's in batter and it's spicy you know it's going to taste great taste great but mine is going to taste just as good so what i'm going to do instead of putting it in batter i'm going to roll mine around in some coconut oil so i've just popped that in the microwave to um melt that and then i'm going to dip mine in chia seeds so again it's going to give it a nice crunchy texture if you don't like chia seeds or you want something a little bit more adventurous you can also roll it in desiccated coconut so again it's going to give that same lovely crispy texture as if you were eating k f c and then what we're going to do is to pop them on the baking tray and we're going to bake them. And again, just to show you the serving. Now, the katsu curry, for anybody who's ever made a katsu curry sauce, it basically is onions, carrot, and a bit of coconut. Okay, so that's all that is. I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, but I just want to, again, show you the example here. My daughter needs a lot more calories than me. So she's having regular rice with a little bit of quinoa, some flour, and and pumpkin seeds and I'm having cauliflower rice so I'm literally halving the calories in my meal just by having the cauliflower rice calories on this part is probably quite the same so there's nothing to say there but definitely on the accompaniment and getting in more vegetables this is where it's all about are you ready to get your hands dirty my hands are clean okay and what we're going to do is grab a piece of tofu. We're going to make one of the regular ones first and I'm just going to pop it around in the batter. <laughs> oh god that's really thick. Look at that thick batter. Okay and then we're going to roll that around <laughs> in the breadcrumbs and the spice. This smells so amazing by the way. So that's just breadcrumbs and spices. And then we're going to pop that onto our baking tray. Now I need to just wash my hands a second. Because I'm now going to do the Slim Brother version. So, again, we grab our piece of tofu. Voila. We're going to roll it around, this time in the coconut oil. And then we're going to roll it round in the seeds so again a lot of you don't know how to use seeds just combining it with something like this again is going to look at that completely covered so again once that's cooked it's going to give you that lovely texture you've got the oil which of course is going to give you the flavor and it's going to taste just as good as the one that's got the bread in and the flour. So there we go guys. Those are my 
bases for my <laughs> katsu curry. I'm trying not to spill it all over the kitchen. So for more veganuary tips, watch this space.